All right, guys. Turbo, Sam, and uh, we have a 6.5 Creedmoor with 140 ELD match. We're gonna have the Otter Creek, the Nomad LT, a nine inch 6.5 Ultra, the new Magnus with a 30 cal bore, and the new 338. We're gonna run them on a 6.5 Creedmoor. Numbers from the Pulse. Um, I don't know what you guys like better, seeing the stuff pop up, seeing the guy shoot. I know it's not very exciting just standing here and watching somebody shoot. The turbo calls out the numbers and we can see the numbers. Bell is back inside. The wind is pretty stout, 80 and 25 are closed to lightweight and high profile vehicles. This door is bowing quite a bit right now. It was cold out there, huh, Bell? Yeah. Um, there's the case we travel with the pulse. All right. So we've got. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Come up now. That's the thing is trying to just make sure we're consistent. We like to do everything as consistent as possible. Again, we try to be as transparent as we can. We like to have people scans and sharing the good data with it. 131.7. That was mil spec, right? Mil spec, yes. Ready. 131.7. Sometimes we call out shooters. 129.8. Ready. And again, there's that time window we're looking at after the we call like the exit event or call it whatever you want. 128.6. Ready. Ready. There. Turbo working hard. Was that last one? 130. 130. All right, was that five? That is five. All right, let's switch cans. Um, Nomad LT. We have to put that other end in there. So this is gonna take a second, sorry. We just have a universal adapter we cut real quick this morning to be able to do some of this. It looks good in the Otter Creek, the one you cut. It does. Yeah, look. Look how nice that looks, Andrew. Sweet, huh? All right, good. <laughs> and actually, no, not a universal adapter. We made it a universal to CB adapter we cut this morning so we could run these cans without me having to pull my brakes and retime brakes and re zero crap because. Sometimes that's a pain. And there's my beast. They're good for nine years old, Bella. Very, very good. I know, the ball's right there. Nobody's throwing it. What's wrong with us? Okay, this is almost ready. Sorry for the delay, but yeah, we could edit this crap out, but why bother? Take more time to edit it out than just let this run and show you guys. You can fast forward if you want. There we go. Again, this can's pretty impressive. It's a half inch shorter than the CGS and the Magnus and the meat as well. We did have a couple versions when we were developing the Magnus that we had in this size, a half inch shorter, and uh, it was good, but we were so pleased with the results of the 9 inch can that we were like, screw it, I think people will deal with the, the half inch for the performance that the new Magnus gives. Ready? 
Job, Todd. 130.2. Ready. Todd and Mike Pappas. I remember the day I met Mike, he was at Silence of Co. when he walked into Jensen's when I was working at Jensen's. Selling the sparrows. Remember that day, Pappas? So this is a very good performing can. Um, unfortunately, we cannot test the CGS in this test because that printed CGS, the rear end, where'd that CGS go? There's no way for us to uh, um, put a CB adapter in it, sorry. Yeah, see, you know, you guys that have seen these, I haven't seen these, this printed rear end. I can't do anything and I'm sorry, and I don't have a 6.5 threaded barrel with me. And these are the ones we can make work. So these are the ones we're making work. Just pulling that off. What's next? Just uh, Ultra nine. So here's an Ultra 9, 6.5, an inch and a half diameter can. Um, suppresses very well for its size and form. This is very nice. Oh, that's coming off on there, so just spin that off the brake, yeah. Keep going. <laughs> Pop that off of there, Turbs. Good job. Hot. Not too bad. So this is what goes on behind the scenes when you're trying to test all these different cans and you don't have everything you need. I love these AIs. This is next. CB Direct. <laughs> so again, inch and a half diameter, nine inch can. system's pretty wicked. We've learned a lot. Well, we have this over two years already, right? Yes. Already? Yeah, just over two years. We've had Hansen come out and a couple other people come out. To play. 132.5. 132.5. This is probably going to be Ready. the loud can of the bunch. What a great time for suppressors when 132.5 at mil spec is loud. 130.2. 130. 130.2. I'm getting my cheat. 131. Ready? 131.6. Ready? That was a loud one. That was five. That was five. All right. Um, next, these ones should all go fairly quick now because they all just screw on. Pull that off and throw this on. Love it. Next is the Magnus. CB Magnus. Again, this is the first can we're going to offer with the hub. One. 375 by 24 universal threads so you guys can use whatever you want. And you hear the wind out there. See the 
door is bowing a little bit. It's going to be impossible for us to do this without this building these days. It's just too windy. We were testing inside at trigger time quite a bit and we were super appreciative of them letting us use that place, especially on Mondays when they were closed. So a huge shout out to trigger time. But uh, once we got the pulse, we started learning that the cement floor and the walls and the ceiling were all too close. We were getting way too much reflection. Um, all stuff we, we kind of thought about when we had the 2209s. But you don't really know until you know and can see improvement, you know? 128.3. One twenty eight three. Ready. One twenty five seven. Ready. One twenty five seven again. Ready. First round pop on six five. Looks like it. Twenty six six. And again, for you guys, I want to see that a little Ready. closer. You can see that first line. <laughs> Big one. Now we'll run the, uh, the Gen 2 338. Hey, don't burn your paw. What do you think, Turb? What do you think of the new, the new mag, the Magnus? I think it was worth the work. <laughs> and just because we can, I'll throw this in again. Fly nine, baby, look at that. Ho, ho. People who have hung up to the end of the video. Look at that. You guys that have hung around and watched. And you can see right here, a little modular. End cap obviously comes out. You can screw this section off and run it super short. We are going to uh, do some 9mm videos next, I believe. And maybe 338 and then 9. See what we get through today. Okay, last five shots. Gen 2, 338. So this is a you know much larger form, 1.8 but 10.4 inches. Once you get length really helps, man. Obviously the diameter helps, but long really, really helps. Just waiting for somebody to throw the ball. Huh. All right, let's get this rolling. Ready when you are. Five, two. Ready. One twenty two point four. One twenty two mil spec. Ready. Holy shit. You see it's lined up. Microphones. And that's how we do it. You kind of touch it. Pretty simple running the string and There you have it um, on 6.5 Creedmoor.